Hello YouTube, it's me Darth Owen, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make something like this, a menu for a simple text-based game using Notepad, which is automatically installed on Windows computers. So first open up Notepad. The first line of code you want to write is at echo off. What this does is it ensures that the player won't be able to see any underlying code. So most files start off like that, so at echo off. Next write title. This will show up right here in the bar of the game. Right here it just says text game. I'm gonna name this one tutorial because I'm gonna be doing tutorials in this file. Next is color. I'm gonna flash up a little picture of the color codes. My favorite one is B, which equates to light blue. So next, click enter twice. Click space. Click colon and then type whatever you want the section to be. So this makes a new section. I'm gonna explain what this does in a bit, but for now, I'm just gonna do this. Next, type CLS. What this does is clear any other text that might've been on the screen. Next, type echo dot. This makes one blank line. So this is two blank lines right here in between these options. So that's pretty essential if you want it to not be crowded together. So next type echo. What echo does is it makes the text af after it appear on the screen. So for this, I'm gonna do echo start. And I did that wrong, didn't I? Just a second. So you can type whatever you want after that. Right now I'm just gonna use the options for the menu. So echo start. I'm gonna put two empty lines in between it, in between each of the options. That's up to you as you make it. The next one's gonna be info and rules. Again, two spaces. And then I'm going to put the last option, which is going to be to exit the game. So I'm put one line after it, one empty line after it. So now what you're going to do is make it so that each of these, when you type um, the number corresponding with the option, it's going to bring you to the actual option. So if I type 2, it's going to bring me to info and rules. Like that. So this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated. Type set slash p input equals what do you want to do? And you can make it say whatever you want. And this is basically... Um, Right here, it says, what do you want to do? It, it's basically that. You're going to want to do that for every section where there's a choice. So um, what do you want to do? Next, type if percent input percent two equals, two equal signs. And then I'm going to put one because one corresponds with start. I say go to start. So basically what this does is if they type one into the little what do you want to do box, it's going to bring them to start, which is a new section I'm going to make right now. So basically it redirects you to this section and then this section will be the start of the game. I'm not going to go and create the game yet, but I'm just going to show you guys that right now. I'm going to do this right here for all of the options. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, and I did this for all of them. I forgot to mention, you can name the sections whatever you want as long as they correspond with um, the section that you want them to go to. So do two spaces in between every section, a space, a colon, and then the section will be called info because that's what it says right here. Next, two spaces, space, and this one's going to be exit. So, for example, if they click three, they come to this one, which literally just exits them. Exit is a command for making someone exit the game or file, depending on what you're making. So, info, it's going to type echo hello. This is just an example. Um, that's not actually the info of the game. And then I'm going to click pause. And I'll show you guys what pause does in a bit. So, this is basically the code for the menu. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now save as I'm just gonna put it here so here's the really crucial part I'm just gonna name my tutorial 
name your file whatever you want and then after it put dot b a t instead of txt txt this make basically makes it instead of a text file more of a batch file like this so yeah and then click save once you find your file when you open it it'll come up with this so i'll show you guys what each of these things did in the file i'm gonna move this out of the way i'm actually gonna close this out so right here it says echo one start so as you guys can see the only thing that appears are the things that come after echo so for example if i want to go to info which literally just says hello i'm going to click two and it brings me here it says hello and what pause does it says press any key to continue i am um, haven't coded the rest of it yet but so it's just going to close out of itself so um yeah, this is the tutorial. I hope you guys liked the video. If you need any help with anything or are confused, be sure to comment it down below or watch the other tutorials for help. Um, 